Moodle is the college's learning management system, also referred to as the virtual classroom. All classes offered at LATTC have virtual classroom space in Moodle to support the instructional process. This includes classes taught online, face-to-face, -face, and any combination of the two. Moodle allows the teacher to share resources, which can be files, links, or videos. It also allows for activities such as assignments, discussions, and quizzes to go into a class gradebook. Students can see their individual grades at any time. To access the website, you can type moodle.latc.edu on the address bar of your browser. If you are using Internet Explorer and experience security issues, type https colon slash slash moodle.latc.edu into the web address bar and accept the security certificate. You also may consider switching to Firefox or Chrome. Alternatively, you can access Moodle from the college homepage simply by clicking on the eClassroom icon. Remember, you are going to the Moodle site for LATTC. Therefore, if you type moodle.com or moodle.edu, your browser will take you somewhere else. Once you are in the Moodle site, you will see a login box on the right side of the page. There, you need to enter your student ID number that starts with 88. Use the same PIN number that you use for the Student Information System SIS. If you do not remember your student ID number, you can log in to the SIS using your Social Security number. SIS will remind you what your student ID number is. Write down or memorize that ID number because you will need it every time you log in to Moodle. If you are sure that you are entering the correct information and yet are unable to log in, you can submit a help ticket. From the home page, click on the student help desk located on the center of the page. Select the kind of ticket that you need and enter the information. The staff will look your information and will get back to you based on what you enter. There are some items that you should check in order for Moodle to work properly. To make a quick scan of your computer and make sure that it has everything you need, click on the Browser Check app located on the center of the home page. Some other settings include Allow Pop-ups, Set Cookies, Have Installed, Acrobat Reader, Flash Player, QuickTime Player, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint Readers. If you are missing any of these items or do not know how to set up your computer, simply click on the icon System Requirements located on the left side of the home page. Here you will find links to download all the plugins and software you will need and directions to set up your browser to be properly compatible with Moodle. Let us explore the interface. The information is organized in two small columns at each side of the page and one wider column at the center. The information located at each side of the page is separated into blocks. On the upper right for each block, you will see two buttons. The one with the minus sign allows you to hide or expand the content of the block. The button next to it allows you to dock the block on the left side of the page. If you dock a block, you can bring it back to its original position by clicking on the same button again. On the center of the home page, you will find important information, quick reference guides to Moodle and ePortfolios, and links to the student help desk, the student information system, and to the college website. You will also find the list of the online and hybrid courses for the current semester and all our useful information. When you are ready to go to your class, click on My Courses located on the navigation block on the top left side of the screen. You will see all the courses to which you have access. If you are enrolled in a class that has Moodle content, you should be able to see it on this list. If you do not, please notify your instructor as soon as possible.